Beautiful. Yeah, my toes are cold. <laughs> Listen to the coyotes. I know, I heard him. Yeah. So that is the trail we'll uh, ascend back to this point to do a loop. Right now it looks like some hike a bike. <laughs> Rami's over there taking photos. I don't think he realizes what's behind me. <laughs> and then this, when we get back here, this will be our hike a bike back over Fiddler Benchmark and near Hutton Peak. Maybe we'll side, take a detour, side detour, and uh, bag it for good measure, depending on Rami. Beautiful. So I guess I could explain the objective of today. Um, there are, if you use dirty prominence criteria, there are 43 peaks in the Danskins. 21 of those are north of Danskin Peak itself, including Danskin Peak. I've bagged 15, today will be number 16. And so today's objective, um, besides one off peak out in the middle of the Snake River Valley that could be argued is not considered part of the Danskins, this will be the lowest elevation peak in the entire range. It's quite unique because it sits down in a canyon. Um, so I'm excited. What do you think of that, Rami? Nice view. It's not bad, huh? So you can't quite see the peak yet. It's over this ridge here. Um, I can't remember if I said in the last video, uh, it is probably the most remote peak as well. So I think that's kind of cool. So it's a worthy objective. And we are, uh, we've come a long way. We're parked kind of near Three Point Mountain, a little below it. Looks like our return route home has some hike-a-bike. Hike-a-bike. <laughs> yeah, that was. Wow. Awesome. Well, this ridge ride uh, had a lot more hike-a-bike than I expected. I hope Rami's not upset. <laughs> Man, it's just beautiful. Wow. He's using that cross-country bike as a trail bike. <laughs> 
<laughs> Woo! Fuck you off. Look at those burn trees, man. Look! An alpine lake! <laughs> Too bad it burned in here. I mean, it's still really beautiful, but man, I can't imagine what it was like. Looks like some flowers are starting to come out. A few yellow ones up there, arrowheads. Now, uh, 500 foot climb and objective complete. Unfortunately, the way out requires just as much climbing as the way in. I was hoping you were picking me some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Rami pointed out the waterfall there. Look at that trail that goes down to the river. I know. It looks like uh, motorcycles. I didn't see that when I was there last. That'd be neat. That's incredible, isn't it? So that's um, Buffalo Creek, and I was kind of thinking of referring to this peak as Buffalo Peak. Yeah, we went down a lot, like you said, a thousand feet a mile. The summit view is not bad. And there is the summit. So unfortunately it all burned through here. It's still pretty. Looks like it would be prettier. But you can tell the erosion is definitely kicking in. So a lot of these trails are double tracked, but they're actually quite fun. They have lots of berms and whoop de doos and that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I see the intersection where that trail kicks in, right right over the next knob over there, the other summit. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. Beautiful. So we're on top of uh, Fiddler Benchmark. How high is, can you see the elevation there? On this thing? Yeah. Does, I mean, does, does the topo map? Oh, yeah, we can get on the topo. Oh, I thought you had it, no worries. And it was 5,300 something, I think. Beautiful day, getting a little windy. 5370, okay. There's a little fiddler. So this ridge has some serious climbs and descents. This is steep. Poor Rami's walking it. I'm feeling bad. Um, I'm only walking it uphill, but 
downhill's pretty fun on the plus bike. Uh, 